So we've been combing through the different questions that came up on YouTube, and I want to make sure I address those for everybody. And uh, one of the most commented on and liked videos we've done so far is how to fix your UPA escape, your bridge and roll, how to tighten that up. And I received quite a few questions about elbow knee escape as well. I've shown that here on the YouTube page before, but let's go through it again and see if I can articulate some of those principles maybe a little bit better. So I'm gonna have Justin lay on his back, and actually I'm gonna take my gi off just so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna start by having Justin do elbow knee escape as I very often see it taught. So your opponent has their knees pinched together, they're kind of sitting up, good base. He starts to turn, makes a frame, starts pushing, this becomes hard. They lift up on your elbow. And one thing I want you to notice is how far Justin's shoulders come off the mat, and yet he still hasn't affected my base, right? And when you're bigger and heavier like I am, that's gonna be even harder for him. And look at his feet, right? N not good posture. So let's go back here and rewind the tape. Base posture, connection, pressure. Everything really begins with your base and your base is your connection to the ground. And very often that means our foot. So I'm gonna switch spots with Justin. I'll take it at this angle. Justin takes him out. First of all, I have to make sure he doesn't get up underneath my elbows. So my elbows have to stay down on the mat. And now I'm gonna begin my escape process. And I'm gonna begin with my foot and I'm gonna step outside the silhouette of my body. By definition, that gives me base, right? I'm gonna address this in another video where we talk specifically about base. But when my limbs come inside my silhouette, I lose base. So here, now I have some base. Now I can adjust, lift my hip and adjust my posture a little bit. And immediately, you should feel a little less comfortable. Immediately, I'm affecting his base, right? You'll see my shoulder's still on the mat. I'm not gonna execute an escape until I get a connection. I have base, I have posture, now I have connection. And now I'm just gonna lock this in place, I'm just gonna use one hand, and now very gently, I'm gonna take him at an angle that's gonna be a skinny X, which is all the angles we use in jujitsu really are a skinny X, and you'll see he just comes right off, okay? So talking about base for a minute, if I go like this, I'm in good base. I'm gonna be hard to knock over, right? Because I have four limbs outside the silhouette of my body. When those limbs come inside the silhouette of my body, so if I'm here and I go like this, now I'm gonna have bad base that direction. And as obvious as that seems, uh, that's an important thing to remember in jujitsu because really all we're trying to do is get their body, oftentimes their hips, sometimes their shoulders, over one of those limbs, okay? So Justin, sit to your knees real quick. Sit up a little higher, imagine you're mounted on somebody. Justin's mounted here. As soon as his hip starts to extend past his ankle, he's gonna lose base, right? As soon as his weight comes this way, then he's gonna start to go over. And that, again, is almost always, without exception, pretty much a skinny X. Think about the UPA escape that I showed in the last video. It's just off 12 o'clock, right? It's not at three o'clock, it's nine o'clock, nine o'clock, it's just off 12 o'clock. Same thing with this elbow knee escape. So I begin by making my base, adjusting, I get my connection. Now that angle is gonna be just off six o'clock towards my left foot. And that's gonna take him right over his ankle, okay? So now I have Justin lay down. It's more impressive when he does it to me than I do it to him. And I'm gonna walk him through it. So to begin with, he's not letting me climb up high. His elbows are down, good, important battle. Takes a big step out. Good, that's good base. Lifts his hip a little bit. Already I feel less comfortable. He's a, he has good solid posture. Yes, good adjustment. Now before he applies much effort, I want him to get a good connection. When we extend our arm, we rotate thumb down. So he's gonna extend it as far as possible. Right here, good. Now he can make that a little tighter by shortening his side, just like we did with the UPA. He's gonna bring this left shoulder like he's trying to touch his left hip and that gives him a better connection here. Now, all he's gonna do is push off his foot through his shoulder into my body at the angle of a skinny X, taking me over my left ankle, my right ankle here, go. That's it. And it doesn't take more, much pressure to knock me over, right? Now, it's not always gonna be a, a takedown that people will, will post, they'll move, they adjust their base, but at the very least, what you're gonna be doing is learning to do this. If Justin's in mount, and he pinches his knees together. What makes the shrimp hard here is if he's big and heavy is how heavy this leg is and he's pinching his knees together. But when I shift 
and put all his weight into this left leg, even if I don't get the turnover, this knee is now light, right? So if I trade spots with Justin, we're gonna execute the same movement. Focus on base posture first, begin with the foot. He steps, he adjusts his posture, that's excellent. Gets a good connection. And now I don't want him to worry about an elbow knee escape. Right now, my weight is 50-50, right? And this feels heavy, right? Without, take your arm off here. Try and shrimp your hips that way. Okay, so I'm about 270. That's a lot of weight, okay? So now, gets a good connection, shortens his side, and all I want Justin to do is start to shift my weight from his foot through his shoulder onto my right leg. Don't try and get your hip out. That'll work too. But first, just see if you can shift my weight onto this knee. Ah, now shrimp, super light, super light because he's adjusted my base. He's used his base posture connection to attack me at my base. And that's the most efficient way to, to do jujitsu. So as you learn, the fundamentals of jiu-jitsu, and if you're a smart athlete, that's what you'll be focused on. Try and break it down and think, what is the base I need from this position? What is the, the best posture to be in comparison to my opponent? And where's the right connection? And then everything after that's gonna be the angle that you apply pressure, which very often is gonna be that skinny X. If you like our videos, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We appreciate it, it helps us put more out. And there'll be a link that you can see to purchase this awesome shirt I'm wearing.